Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So here's a quick tutorial on how to install Windows 7 um, if you don't have a uh, like DVD writer or DVD drive and uh, we'll install it using our flash pen or USB drive whatever you call it and for that just for uh, whether you are on Windows XP, Windows 7 or Windows Vista you know this tutorial will work probably will work um, <coughs> on all the uh, Windows operating systems so just uh, follow me let's just click on start and uh, search for cmd you know launch the command prompt <coughs> if you're on windows xp so you, you, you can just click on run over here and type cmd so we'll uh, we, ha we have to open it um, you know using the administrator privileges we need administrator privileges for this alright once you launch the command prompt uh, just leave it over here click on my computer insert your flash drive and once you're done okay here here I've got the this is my uh, well uh, this is the DVD where I've got the Windows 7 installation files this is the DVD and here I've got the pen drive alright this is my flash drive first we are going to convert it that is the convert uh, we are going to convert uh, the pen the flash drive to NTFS format so first format it using your Windows operating system to any file system and we just convert it to NTFS so type convert e colon e because that's that's the that's the drive that I have over here the yeah, e drive for my pen drive slash uh, e colon space uh, slash fs fs colon NTFS press enter uh, okay, my drive is already NTFS. So if your if yours is FAT32 or or FAT16, it will convert to NTFS. It will take some time and convert to NTFS. Once we are done with that, we will be making that this particular uh, drive uh, the primary mode. We are, we are going to uh, make it active and primary. All right. So for that, we are going we are going to use another <coughs> uh, another application another utility from windows that's called this part press enter and uh, <coughs> so it's gonna scan now okay oh sorry just best list disk so that's that's gonna list the disk that you have so list the disk zero is my 10 uh, gigs uh, virtual hard drive and the disk one is my 8 gigabyte um, flash drive alright so we're gonna select disk 1 type select disk is equal to like yeah equal sign 1 so disk 1 is now the selected disk and then after that we're gonna select disk uh, select partition okay we can just list partition if we uh, to check if you have you know more than one partition we don't have we have only one partition and that's primary but I've already made everything, so I'm just gonna. Rep I'm just repeating it. All right. I I've, I'm using the same <coughs> um, old um, flash drive and repeating the procedure. So we just have to like press select. I mean type select and select partition is equal to again <coughs> one. <coughs> so partition one is now selected. So after we select disk one, we gotta select partition one, and then we just press active. So this part mark the current partition is active. So we have uh, made this particular partition active. All right. So this is done. Just minimize it. I guess we're done with this. All right. And uh, then, uh, well, you can go and, and now copy all the files. Just like, sorry, I really don't want to install it. You know. Okay. Select all. Copy all the files. You know. Select all. Copy the files and paste it over here. Like over here I've already done that so just paste it over here paste it and after that we'll be browsing to this folder e boot and then we're gonna type boot sect uh, I'll do that right so um, uh, we'll just exit this um, type cd uh, no, no you gotta type e colon well, let's, let's browse to the pen drive cd boot all right and now type boot boot sect boot sect dot exe dot exe 
slash nt slash nt60 bootsec.exe hold on I forgot the the okay yeah uh, e colon yes I forgot the command so that's we, we, we're gonna we're gonna set the bootloader now we're gonna we're gonna like bootsec.exe updates the master mb yeah master boot code for hard disk partition in order to switch between boot manager and ntdlr so restore the boot sector so we're just you know restoring the boot sector so okay uh, yes boot code was successfully updated on all targeted volumes so updated interface file system boot code the update may be unreliable since the volume could not be logged during the update access is denied it's because I'm using it right now right so uh, you could do one more thing you know if uh, you get this kind of error you can browse instead of uh, using e colon slash boot we could uh, use uh, hold on we could use uh, D like okay first I'll just do that CD and uh, type CD boot and type the same thing now right just repeat the same thing okay now boot code was successfully updated on target volume okay don't do E don't browse to E directory but browse to the D directory browse to your um, yeah browse to this particular directory browse to your DVD drive instead of the flash drive and apply the bootloader I mean apply uh, execute this command via bootsec.exe bootsec located in your DVD drive I hope it was like uh, I hope um, this is not confusing anyways once you're done with that again you can like exit yeah you're done and just reboot reboot uh, your system connect your pen drive select uh, press F8 uh, on your BIOS and select your pen drive flash drive as your bootable device and window you'll start the windows you'll have the windows 7 um, windows 7 okay I'll just show you I've have I have the file somewhere over here uh, you'll have the windows 7 installation process going on ignore ignore yeah here I've got two yes I've got two files over here all right as you can see uh, here's the uh, your windows is loading files there's no disk in there there's no disk and here's the flash drive yep uh, that's it it's nothing much I haven't shown anything else uh, yeah, you get starting windows Ooh, I've got another video over here alright and uh, Hold on. Okay, whatever, man. Uh, yes, uh, I guess that's it. I, I hope it was uh, easy and uh, not much confusing. If you if you face any error, just let me know. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.